Daddy, you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. We got your girl, K Michelle, K Kitty. What's good? K Kitty, what you want, gang? You know what I want. <laughs> but I'm always on. Damn. Mm. Well, first of all, welcome to DJ UTV. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. Now tell us what you always be on. Uh, you know, what I always be on is <laughs> booty bandit. Nah, I'm just playing. Nah, I'm always on everything. So everything and nothing at the same time. You know, I like to do, um, I'm really open. So whatever piques my interest. Okay, okay, okay. So we got At the time. we got K Michelle, aka K Kitty, better known as the Booty Bandit in the building. Yes. Okay. Yes, it's me. Let's get it. Tell us where you're from. Um, I'm from Chicago, born and raised, born in Mercy Hospital, but um, I grew up in Cal City, Harvey, Creek, and that's that's about it, you know. So you're from the birds? Yep, from the birds. I'm out south. Okay. Yeah. And so tell us what it was like for you growing up. Oh, hold on. So tell us, uh, like, you had any? You got any siblings? Yes, I have one brother, okay. and um, my brother is older than me. Shout out to Eddie. He okay. might not want to be on here, but I don't give a fuck. Okay. You're part of my life. You got to Right. Be. But anyways, uh, my brother Eddie. I got an older brother. It's just me and him. And um, but basically, I. We grew up together for, uh, you know, most of my childhood. But when he got to eighth grade, was it eighth or seventh? Seventh grade, he moved with my grandma, and he just was with, with her, and I was by myself pretty okay. much then. Okay. What was, what's y'all age difference? Um, I'm 91. He 88. Okay. So y'all do the math. You right, know? right, right. Okay. But, yeah. So uh, when you were growing up in the south suburbs, were you uh, promiscuous at a young age, or when did you start really liking boys? Um, well, I always liked boys, but I like girls too, so um, I did both. Um, I was into sports, I was in band, so um, I pretty much was not promiscuous. Oh, <clears throat> I probably lied. Well, I did most of my stuff with my, with my friends, like my female friends. Shout out to John Quees. Hey, girl. <laughs> what you and John Quees had going on? Man, John Quees said, I was more so of like scared to get in trouble. So I, I was always scared to get in trouble. But back in the day when we were eight and nine, mm -hmm. she was turning on the, um, she was turning on the, like when the, I don't know what it is, the pay per view. Right. You know how you flip through it when you got the cable channels and they had that porn on it and shit? She had that shit on there. And I used to be like, I used to be so scared, but John Cleese was like, but she turned it all the way down and she used to always watch it. So then, <laughs> you know, we tried out eating each other back then, eight, nine, like we was eight, nine. At, hold on, at age eight or nine? At age eight or nine, mm. yes. Wow. We were eating each other, excuse me, eating each other and we mm. were doing, we were, but I was just so scared to get in trouble. Like that was my thing. I don't, I don't like to get in trouble, but I will get in trouble. Like. But, um, yeah, she was the one who used to just push me, like, to watch all the porn. I'm like, Sh I didn't want to do it. We were right across the hall from my mom's room, but she was into watching it, and I was just like, ah. But, I, of course, I, I mean, I didn't want to do it, but I, didn't, I did it. And I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to get caught. Mm -hmm. But I enjoyed it, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. if it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, yeah. Um, so I've been doing that for a while, and uh, in, up until I was 12, I was on a basketball team. Um, I remember Angelique Bryant, shout out to you, um, Angelique Bryant, we was <laughs> <laughs> driving. Are you my, dropping real names I'm right dropping now? real Damn. names, y'all. Y'all going to be in this shit. My ex-husband was like, don't drop my name. I'm dropping your name. Damn. <laughs> okay. But yeah, shout out to her, because, you know, I mean, it's part of everybody, you know, um, Journey. Truth mm -hmm. and journey, like, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm open, so y'all need to live in y'all truth. Everybody need to live in their truth. Okay. I live okay. in my truth. Okay, so 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 you say you got turned out around eight or nine years old by by another young lady. Yeah. So you was eating before you was sucking. Yes. Wow. But I I like sucking more than I eat. Okay. Or other way around. So tell us that first experience. 
The first pussy eating experience? No, the first uh, penis sucking experience. Oh, the first penis sucking experience. Oh, can I remember back that day? I wish you would tell me earlier. Uh, it's been that many? No, no, it's not that. No, it's that many, but right. not the first right. of that I many. Mean, everybody oh. remember the first, right? Maybe, I want to say my first second, maybe it could be my daughter's father. Okay. So I was 15. Oh. No, it ain't it. <laughs> That's definitely not it. I just was sucking down. I remember watching <laughs> Korean Steffens. That's how I got into it. Superhead. Uh, Superhead, yes. When she was on the blue couch, shout out to Korean Steffens, because, bitch, you the one who taught me everything I know. And I was Damn. like, That's good. But, um, yes. Wow. Yes, yes. Um, we got I don't one of the Superhead the... babies in the building. So I'm, a su I'm the blue couch. I done found it. I found it. I... She was on a blue couch. What was her name? Was well, Olivia? Mr. Marcus said, Mr. Marcus behind the camera right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know who the, I can't tell you really who the first one was because I was probably, but I want to say, mm, I don't, I, I honestly don't know who the first uh, I suck, but if I want to just go back. Okay, so you so you telling can't. us you were inspired by Superhead? I was inspired by Superhead at, at, at age fifteen. At age fifteen, yes. Okay, cool. So, so I, well, I found the I found the movie. Shout out to my mama for having that. <laughs> I found the movie um, when I lived in Crete, and I put it on and I watched it and I just I don't know I just studied it and I just ever since then I just knew how to I just really knew how to suck and I was just cold at. At, at that age, like I mean, wow. I wasn't probably that cold, but I knew I was. I knew I was on to something at that age. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know getting pregnant. <laughs> that's that's very interesting, right? Because who am I to judge? I won't, right? Mm -hmm. So I could say like we the same age, you know. And so if I'm watching the Superhead and, and, and Mr. Marcus joint, you know what I mean? I'm mm -hmm. young as hell, just getting my rocks off. Yeah. You feel me? But to know that there was a young lady the same age, she watching it and she learning how to do her some tricks. Yeah, this shit is crazy. Yeah, you learn how to you know how to this come and what makes you come. And I'm over here like, all right, what she do? Mm. She did that like this and the two hand. I, I got it. I done figured it out. I cracked the code though. I feel like I cracked the code. Damn. Yeah, I cracked the code for sure. Damn. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so, for see, sure, sure. see, see, these folks put this shit on the internet. Y'all did it. Y'all see how fried our brains? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all did it. That wasn't my fault. But to our defense, I was the one of that eight and nine, but with the woman. So I wasn't doing it with the man. So. Well, eventually, you was doing it with a man. So. Yeah. Because I asked, made that video. Cut. DJ, you go crazy!